Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you have a nice weekend. Now, I'm dying with a hangover from hell. <laughs> and I looked at last night's video and I just thought, Oh, Jesus. What have I done? What have I done? But I'm a man of my word. 15,000 subscribers and I'll get that blender tattoo. But let's just move on to today's tutorial. And it's pixelising an image. Now, I actually found the solution on Stack Exchange and it's from a user called Simon S. So cheers much, mate. I kind of knew how to do it and obviously I want to replicate something like this and I want to be able to control the value so I can make it either more or less pixelated and there's my lovely cat so we'll just quickly start from the beginning and I'll kind of walk you through it now the first thing that I really need is a value node I need to be able to control the resolution so I'll press shift and A I'll press S to search and I'll search for a value node now what we can do here is we can actually right click on it and rename the node and it just kind of keeps things nice and tidy so I'll call this res now obviously we need a texture coordinate node we need something to tell the geometry this is where we actually want the node to work so we'll press shift and A again we'll press S to search and we'll search for a texture coordinate node now we'll just put this up here so the next step is to take the resolution and we're going to run this into a mass node now we're going to use a division so this should technically divide the resolution here so we'll press shift and A we'll press S to search and we'll search for a mass node and we'll take the value of the resolution and we'll plug this right into here and what we'll do is we'll actually set the value or the initial state of the value to 1 and we'll change the node type to divide now I do apologise for the background noise here it's like gale force winds at the moment so we'll change this to divide now the next thing I need to do is combine the texture coordinate node with the division node so the best way we can do this is by using a vector maths node. Just so you're aware, there's a very nice add-on called node tabber, which just means I can press tab and it, I'll search for a vector maths. So here's the vector math, and I'm going to take the value of the division, I'm going to plug this into the lower vector, and I'm going to take the UV coordinates, because obviously it's a cube, it's already UV'd, and I'm going to change this to a snap function. Now, just to kind of give you an overview of what snap does, I'll just read it to you it won't make any sense it still doesn't make sense to me the results of rounding a to the largest integer multiplying of b less than or equal to a yeah yeah just use a snap node <laughs> and that's us pretty much set up we need an image texture now we could use nodes and pixelate nodes but we'll just quickly drop down an image texture node so let's drop down image texture and let's open up something on the desktop hide your eyes because it's a bit messy at the moment and we'll just use something like this. Now I'll just plug this into the colour just to show you what the image looks like at the moment. So it's this kind of camouflage. So what I can do here is I can then take the vector, plug this into the image, and now I can control the resolution. So obviously the more I go, the more pixelated I get. You get this kind of Minecraft or pixelated camouflage look, pretty cool. Now obviously you can change the image, it can be anything you want. So that's pretty much the basics of it. But what if we want a little bit more control and we want to control the X and the Y axis? Well, what we can do here is we can actually copy these two nodes here. We'll paste them in. Now, obviously, I need to connect these two nodes together. So I'm going to use a combine node and I'm going to combine the X, Y and Z. I'll take the value from here. I'll plug that into the Y. I'll take the X value. Let's disconnect from here. Let's move these two nodes. Let's just quickly move these two nodes to the side so we can get a better view. And I'm going to take the vector and plug this back into the snap function. Now these are perfectly aligned, so 54 and 54, but if you see here, if I move this up or down, you can see I can actually control the resolution on the Y, which may be some effect that you want. And that is pretty much how you can pixelate an image. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, don't drink and drive, you know what to do. Take care.